this is going to be the last of the Rockstar series for a little while so I can focus on the holiday looks and there is Munchkin! Hi! Come! Hi! And guess who I'm gonna do? Yes, Gwen Stefani. And I'm actually wearing one of her newest uh, collaborations with Burton and it's little drawings of her kid. Oh, it's so cute! I'm doing Gwen from the 90s because that's when most of us fell in love with her. And I've got my mini buns and I'm ready to go. Let's get started. Gwen's look is actually super, super easy. It's just a matter of realizing what it is. Once again, I'm going in with my Mood Struck Addiction 4 palette. And I'm going with Tender and it's going all over my lid. And remember to do all the way up to the brows. Next, I'm going in with Arrogant. And I'm using my deluxe brush because I'm going to get it right in the crease. The way, good way to find your crease is to open just a little bit or close just a little bit. Stick it in the socket. Open and slide. Slide, slide, slide. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I'll spare you that. <laughs> she always went for and still does. Ooh, oops. And still goes for that classic Hollywood look. And that's what we're doing today, which is light lids, brow bone highlight and color in the crease and that's the way you maximize your eyes uh, if you want to make your eyes look as big as possible this is kind of how you do it um then we need to blend very well i'm not exactly happy with my application so far but this is the basics find the lightest shade that matches your skin tone Find a medium, darker shade. You add liner and red lips. And of course, the hair helps. The hair, the clothes, the attitude. The biggest thing about Gwen is her attitude um, towards herself, towards life. She's a genuine, nice person, and that looks good on anybody. Okay, now, I'm not going to line my lower lids with black liner. But I am going to take a little bit of this Arrogant, a tiny, tiny bit, super tap it off. Ooh, look at that. And I'm going to blend this. I don't even want that much. To give the max effect, you don't line the bottom. That makes your eyes look even bigger. So let's smudge it out a little bit. Okay, I'm going to take my pre precision liner in perfect. And we will line the eyes. Now remember, we want to get behind between the lashes really well. So I'm almost going to start and sweep it in there where I can. Very gently drawing, trying to get in between those lashes. See? 1990s Gwen didn't really do the winged liner or a cat eye so much. It was straight up cross. We don't want any inner waterline, anything on it. See? Then to get in there. On that lash line, and the line needs to be super clean and not beyond the kittens. Kittens, so I'm not going beyond right here, absolutely not. Don't do it, don't do it because she did not do it, okay. And I got, still need some right on that lash line. I'm telling you, it looks bad, so please ensure 
then it's right down that lash line. Get in those lashes. See how I'm just kind of going in and pushing up and out, up and out to get in with those lashes. Let's see, check your lash line. Because when you do pull, it, it does take you away from that lash line. That's why you need to take extra care to get it. Get it, get it, get it. Get it, girl. Get it, get it, girl. Get it, girl. Get it, get it, girl. Okay, I'll spare you that. So, looks pretty good. I mean, look, I, I'm, I'm with her look already. Also, mascara. I'm going to show you the 3D lashes. Gwen was and still is a lot about the lashes so she can get that I'm just a girl. Yeah. So first we put on our gel. And you can use this just as mascara. It's a gel mascara. It's not really heavy at all. That's what I like. I like that I can put this on. It's not a heavy mascara because I don't like heavy mascaras. But yet I can add the fibers when I do want it to be a bit more dramatic. And you need to put the fibers on right away. You can wipe off any little clumps, but there's ways to get those off anyway. So you can, I mean, you can see them attaching to the ends of my lashes. It's wild. And just keep brushing them. Ooh. Keep on brushing them on. Now you want to put another layer of the gel to hold those fibers on. And I just press, press, press. I don't want to wipe off if you have some kind of clumpies and you want to you can obviously you can do it whatever works best for you this is what works for me and even I want to get just a few more in the corner just a little bit to make it because it was all about the eyes and the lips for Gwen. We all know about Gwen's red lips. Make them extra long. Turn your wand the other way. And then you can really pull them back up. Ooh -wee. Yeah, I don't know what's up with my lighting today, so I apologize for that. The lighting's really bad. Um, so I've curled my lashes again already. Now gel. I don't have to put plenty of that on. I like my first layer to be pretty thick to so as many la uh, fibers will stick on as possible. And then my second one I like to do a little bit lighter and twisty. Don't pump. I like to do a little bit of a lighter coat because I don't want to wipe the fibers off. I just want to get them to Stick on a little bit. We start the root and wiggle, wiggle. And another way to apply the mascara that I do is I put it kind of like at the roots and blink. Roots and blink. That way it gets right to the tips, okay. And here's where the magic happens, y'all. With the fibers. I like to brush them right along the edge so that they pick up on the tips of my lashes and I even bring them heavy into the corner so it really does end up looking a l very similar to when I have my falsies on. Okay now I'm gonna go back with the gel and seal the deal. Kittens, be nice. Whoa. And press it on, press it on. Press on latches. Hi. 
Sky, are you okay? Oh, she's wobbling. She's come over to me for refuge. All right, I'm gonna put on a little bit of blush first because if you have bright lipstick and no blush at all, it looks a little weird. And she put blush on, she wore blush. It was very traditional back to basics makeup that she was doing. I think people just, between the makeup and her attitude and the way she dressed, you know, people just hang with that kind of style. Fashion you buy, style you express. I'm going in with the Splash Liquid Lipstick in Sizzlin. I'm sizzling, baby. Now, just so you guys know, you probably want to use a lip liner. I can put on red lipstick while I'm driving a car. So, <laughs> I I don't. Just myself. But for those of you that do not wear red lipstick or bright lipstick on the regular, I would definitely use a red lip liner. Don't use nude, it just gets weird. Unless it's absolutely nude, but... I, don't know, I like red liner with red lips. Come on. So. Just my opinion. My humble opinion. This is my finished Gwen look. It is not complicated. Anyone can rock it. Believe me. So, I know no one's going to mistake me for her, but what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Bye-bye.